Let me start with uh, three little sentences. I think you agree, people want a future, people need a future, and I think we agree, future needs innovation, and, but at the same time, innovation needs research. To make it clear, Fraunhofer is a contract company. We, do, we are doing contract research for the industry. But in recent years, the Fraunhofer Gesellschaft has changed its approach to strategy development and shifted the perspective from supply to demand driven needs a little bit. The emphasis is now on future challenges and the changes associated with them and the opportunities arising from these challenges and then coming to new markets. I think, therefore, we agree people need a future. Looking at all these studies of UNESCO or other people, we all agree there are really very important challenges in the uh, 21st century. These mostly called eight challenges are health and nutrition, energy and resources, environmental and climate protection, urbanization and globalization, poverty, demographic change, mobility, and last but not least, disasters. Of course, these challenges do not stand in isolation from one another, but are closely inter interdependent. This overall interdependence is particularly pertinent to the issue of poverty, for instance. Progress in other fields for action always represents an important step towards combating poverty. Research and development can make an important contribution, contribution to meet all these challenges. To create a platform for meeting these challenges of the future, the Fraunhofer Gesellschaft has set up the internal Markets Beyond Tomorrow program. It focuses on identifying the problems that need to be addressed and what people expect from the research work involved. involved. Fraunhofer lets itself be guided by the needs of society. People need health, they need energy, communication, a healthy environment, mobility, and of course, security. If we take a general look at the technologies that will shape the 21st century, the following stand out. Microstructure technologies, for example, microelectronics, micromechanics, microoptics, microbiology, developments in materials and process, including the, the photonics, biotechnology and genetic engineering, power and environmental engineering. The technologies that we should see as really key enabling technologies are those that, if we master them, will be the precondition to economic success and social change. Their application will open up new markets and areas of growth, innovation, will have a special role to play in their development. These key enabling technologies will initially be mainly used in product innovations and normally require innovations in processes. St starting from these global social challenges that have to be faced, the Fraunhofer Gesellschaft examined its portfolio across all of its institu institutes in a process that identified six future issues which can be expected to create growth markets requiring, requiring considerable research. Affordable healthcare, disaster prediction and management, low emission reliable mobility in urban areas, information and communication, low loss generation distribution and use of electricity, and life cycle production. 
let's come to the first part, health and nutrition. Research into people's health and their environment means health research is devoted to a wide variety of topics. Analysis and diagnosis should be made simpler, faster, and safer by modern technology. Surgical procedures may be, should, must be made as minimally invasive to page, patent, patients as possible to reduce risk and recovery times. Therapeutic techniques and prosthetics must be optimally fitted to patients' bodies and to treatment goals. Technology can also help to make many aspects of pharmaceutical research more efficient. Given that nutrition and food technology are decisive uh, factors in health, they also play an important part in Fraunhofer research, as does effective environmental protection. Comprehensive information on avoidable risk and a healthy lifestyle are just as important as preventive care and the early diagnosis of disease. The results of Fraunhofer studies contribute to all areas of medical, environmental and nutrition research, helping to improve patient's health and ultimately working toward, toward the reduction of costs for the healthcare system and making clear what really our markets beyond tomorrow program means. We try to put together our activities in Fraunhofer by really offering a program within Fraunhofer by uh, the board of directors. And for instance, one of these beyond of tomorrow projects is this project uh, Skin Heal. As you know, until now, therapies for chronic wounds have been based on experience, but the healing process was, has not yet been understood. Researchers from five Fraunhofer institutes have joined forces to change all that. They want to make the treatment of chronic wounds more effective and able patients themselves to check whether their open wounds are healing or having become infected with bacteria. The researchers are pulling their expertise in the Beyond Tomorrow projects, as I just called Skin Heal. This is one example. Looking at another topic, safety and security, as you know, extreme weather, major accidents, forest fires, and of course, terrorist attacks. In the end of a disaster, the rescue services need reliable information. Intelligent analysis and information systems help rescue personnel to do their job. In modern situation, centers equipped with video walls or monitors, all the information they need is av made available at a glance. Fraunhofer sciences also conduct work on making urban life safer. In cities, people live in a confined space, so it is essential that the supply of energy, water, and medical care function reliably. The vital arterials of our highly complex and closely meshed society must be kept flowing smoothly at all times. Risk analysts and advanced technologies can help to protect this relevant infrastructure. The range of research projects extends from new proposals and new, from new concepts for the construction of safe skyscrapers capable of withstanding a plane crash through new developments for people and luggage checks at airports to future video monitoring systems. When a serious incident occurs, the police, fire and emergency, med emergency medical services have to take decisions quickly. They depend on receiving information that is reliable. Information and communication techniques help them to keep on top of the situation. Mobile SIP systems are pro also provide them with the necessary information on site. It is too dangerous for the rescue services to enter the scene on the, of, the accident, of the incident. Robots equipped with cameras and measuring instruments move into the danger zone. Drones observe the situation from the air and transmit pictures and data for the control center. Or having a look at the next topic, whether it's jetting off on holiday, driving to work, visiting, visiting relatives, or simply going shopping. It all adds up to an entire lifetime spent on the move, 
on water, on land, and in the air. Globalization has increased personal mobility as well as flight mobility. We eat kiwis from New Zealand, buy computers made in China. Products travel thousands of miles before they reach the consumers. Fraunhofer researchers are looking to control transportation and make it reliable, even eliminating it entirely at certain points with the ultimate aim of managing resources sustainably. People need mobility and Fraunhofer is striving to meet these needs in a way that is compatible with humans and the environment. And looking at the next topic, of course we need information and communication. The extent to which ICT affects and makes our daily lives easier is set to grow in future. All based on tiny sensors and wireless communication, which together give passive objects, from the carpet through clothing to the window, the capacity of a new fu function. They can automatically adjust to the user and forward valuable information to communication networks, thereby helping to prevent traffic, traffic jams, for instance, or monitor patients' health. It's, it is up to each of us to decide how many of these ubiquitous unseen helpers are deployed, say in the intelligent, intelligent house, which automatically ensures safety and optimum energy use, usage, or as part of the wireless networking of consumer electronics, electronics in the home. And you, need, you know the energy change in, in Germany, and we do a lot of uh, new energy uh, research in Fraunhofer. Without energy, we would have no warm homes, no hot water for showers, and no electricity to keep food chilled, operate appliances, or allow us to work at the computer. Up to now, our economy has been driven and our homes made comfortable by oil, gas, and coal. Slowly but surely, as you know, in Germany, a little bit quicker, these natural resources, uh, this changes quicker, not the, the, these natural resources are running out, that means uh, for everybody. If you want to continue to enjoy affordable power, heat and cooling in the future, we need to become more efficient in the way we use energy. Get better at storing it reliably and try harder to develop renewable energy resources. Whether from the sun, the wind coming from the sun, sun as well, water or biomass, an increasing amount of energy is obtained from renewable sources. Two main developments are driving demand for renewable energy. As crude oil and natural gas supplies are slowly dwindling, the price of oil, gas and coal is rising. Moreover, moreover UN surveys demonstrate that emissions of the greenhouse gas CO2 must be reduced dramatically if we are to prevent the Earth from heating up by more than two degrees Celsius. The transition, transition of, uh, to, the, to a sustainable energy supply is one of the greatest challenges we face in the 21st century. And I just mentioned one example, the Skin, skin Heal project of the Markets Beyond Tomorrow program. Another example for just a, just, a, just, a, just a, a project is this uh, Beyond Tomorrow program uh, uh, Supergrid, large-scale solar thermal systems in Africa, offshore wind parks in the North Sea, photovoltaic power plants in the South, and just uh, need. And many decentralized systems in Central Europe are to, pro to produce a large percentage of our electricity in the future. But a number of challenges must still be overcome for the transition of, to renewable energy to be successful. How can we combine renewables and then transport electricity without considerable loss across thousands of kilometers from 
north of Europe to south of Europe, and then tr transport electricity without really a co a considerable loss. Can strongly fluctuating energy be effectively st stored? How can we feed the electricity into our networks? In the Beyond Tomorrow project supergrid, Fraunhofer are developing components that will store and distribute electricity, electricity with minimal loss. And uh, as we just heard uh, by the minister, we need a production scene in Europe more than before, really. And uh, as the costs of raw materials and energy are skyrocketing, in many industries, they have long since been the determining factor in the price of the end product. A paradigm shift is needed if companies are to continue to thrive in the global market. Maximum added value must be generated from minimal resources. That, that means really on, oftentimes a new production technology. One of the key tasks for the future is to increase efficiency in production. And utilizing materials economically. Researchers are active across a wide range of disciplines. Resources can be saved with while processing metals by replacing machining manufacturing processes with forming processes. The experts aim to improve resource utilization in component manufacture by means of innovation in tool construction. They also aim to reduce emissions and manufacturing costs. Resources can be conserved very effectively through the economical use of materials. So it is important to increase process stability and produce as few rejects as possible. New materials, and I think this is one topic of this conference, and surface structures also offer a great deal of potential. The development of micro and nanostructures not only feeds through into shorter process change, but also facilitates more energy efficient production of engines and other powertrain components. Fraunhofer provides research services to customers in industry, as I mentioned in the beginning, and the public sector. Also, our business is based on innovation, and our aim is to leverage science and research to develop innovative products and applications that benefit people. If we are to, dis to succeed, Fraunhofer research must always remain in touch with people as the only means of identifying current and future needs and duly orienting our research according to the market. Innovation is one of the key factors in commercial success. Knowing current customer needs, keeping up with the state of the art, and quickly responding to the market changes is essential to survival in the competitive global marketplace. Successful companies are well aware of that and value, and value an innovation culture that delivers results. Fraunhofer is a long-term partner who can help companies succeed. We develop, we develop, implement, and optimize processes, products, and systems until they are really ready for use and ready for the market. We help our customers roll out new organizational structures and technologies in their companies. We provide contract research and innovation in virtually all applications, application relevant fields of expertise. Of course, you may, I think you will need it, you will know it. We are now more than 80 research institutes, more than 20,000 employees, annual budget is about 1, 8 billion. So we are really ready to cooperate with companies in Europe, with the European Commission. And uh, I think the Commission knows it. Uh, we are quite good customers, and of course, we would like to be a good customer in the future and a good, uh, good partner for, for all, for, especially for the industry in Europe. Coming uh, to an end, uh, to the end of my talk, I would give a short comment to the new Horizon 2020 discussion. We have this discussion about the new simplification activities, and of course, we find it very helpful to have simplification. 
In the last years, uh, the large RTOs, they installed at every place uh, full cost uh, calculation. Uh, and uh, the nowadays, uh, you can see it by this uh, slide, that is uh, large RTOs, as we call it, that are these RTOs which having this full cost calculation and uh, having, I think, a quite a good role, a very important role in, in the technology transfer system in Europe. They, this is not only to look at the, the considered budget when you look at this slide. It is, uh, it is shows that uh, I think the RTOs are playing really a, a significant role in, in, in this uh, place. And uh, for this, uh, we look forward, but we look very spe spe specific forward to the uh, your simplification project. This uh, 100 direct and 20 percent indirect cost, as you see by this slide, if you if uh, the large RTOs are really together in in a EG EU project the cooperation with industry is really increasing. And therefore, uh, we hope that we will find uh, a solution for the simplification. Uh, we are now uh, looking at the numbers and uh, most RTOs expect an effective research funding rate in Horizon 2020 uh, of about 50 to 65 percent. That means it's less than last time when it was 75 percent. So uh, I think we should have a discussion on this uh, because uh, otherwise it might be that we will not so intensive within uh, this Horizon 2020 program than before. Uh, but of course, let me summarize not to be, uh, so to say, wrong words. Uh, of course, we need simplification, but we need a simplification that is sim to simplify both, uh, simplification for both sides. And, uh, but it's not only just a, a hint, a, a, a short topic. Uh, I think coming back to the first one, beyond tomorrow, we feel there will be, there are new markets, and these markets should be open by innovation and research, and we are prepared to do it. And second point, for the future, we need key enabling technologies, maybe even more than in the past, and I think we will cooperate together, I hope, with all the participants from industry, uh, you should be open to come to, to Fraunhofer or to an RT RTO in, in Europe, we, and of course to the university as well. Thank you for the, your attention.